was like, what, 11? Yeah. And um, I went up, up, whooped the ramp all the way up, and I got all the way up to the top of the lip, and like, I got my body up in the air, and I did a handstand, and it was that point I realized that to do a handstand, you need upper body strength. And uh, I collapsed on this wrist, and now it just makes noise. My name is Tom Jolu. I am working on a new album. I'm hoping it comes out early March. That's my goal. First record I ever had ever. My mom got me this first cassette, Backstreet Boys first first album, and I used to jam that. Um, first CD anyone ever bought me was the Pokemon soundtrack. But the first CD I ever bought myself was a uh, Sum 41 Half Hour of Power. It just went all over the place from there because I was the youngest. My sister, I like, got an older sister, so she listened to all the pop. So I listened to all the pop. So that's like just how that started out. And my brother saw that, my older brother, and he's like, no, 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 no. Most of my music tastes, at least when I was a teenager, came from him. Like everything he used to listen to when he was a teenager, I listened to when I was a teenager. Never mind, um, Bleach, lots of Ben Folds. Lots of, he just hears some Ben Folds. But I was just listening to progressively heavier, heavier music when I was just getting out of high school. And I think like I would listen to Kill Switch, I'd listen to Lamb of God, Between the Buried and Me, Every Time I Die, stuff like that. But like Every Time I Die stuck. Hands down, they are in the top three of my favorite bands. Keith makes amazing lyrics. Andy and Jordan, like oh, just the way they write guitar riffs. And, it's just, and they're such nice fucking people. They're so nice. You got a better man in this deal. Um, music in general is kind of just, I've always gravitated towards music. It's not self-exploration or anything. It's nice to hear songs or things that sound pretty, but then when the older I got, the more I listened to lyrics, the more I realized like, oh, I'm not the only one that feels so shitty. So hearing that, that was a nice connection that, oh, someone else feels this. Oh, it's like, you're not alone. It's like, that's cool. When I write, it's, kind of my journal it's just like this is what's going on in my life this is what i feel how i feel at this exact moment like my last album josephine that was pretty much just my diary of the year after my mom died like that's just that's what that was the idea you bring are you a puzzle piece of the problem that i see i'm still trying to figure out i guess what my quote unquote persona is the music goes through me, so I just let it out in whatever way it comes out. I just try to put on the best show I can and try to make it entertaining for people. When I'm performing, I'm really performing and like it's it's coming out, I don't know, I just, I feel like I do get into a different headspace. I'm not thinking. That's really the best I get. Yes, I do feel like there is some sort of persona in me, but I don't know what it is yet. I just try to be honest. That's really all I try to be anymore. You got a better man in this deal. Every time I die, I'm gonna use them as an example. They have at least their following of people. They have they're now there's giant Facebook groups of people who like like this band, but they're also talking to each other about the music they like and stuff like that. I know that's happening on Facebook because it's so easy to connect to anybody nowadays. Like, oh, you saw someone at a show and you had a good time talking to them. It's definitely easier to have a connection to have more people and like the more niche markets have an easier outlet because there's so many ways to connect with so many people. But I don't know, music is, to me, it's not a business. I like that. I don't, I mean, yeah, it is a business because I'm in it. It means a lot and that's a very vague statement. Some people connect to certain things. Some people connect to films. Some people connect to books. Music is a lot more than just notes and lyrics. And it's just, some people just listen to music like it's just background noise, like it's just something. But I don't know. People who get it see the value in it. There's more value than just the notes and the words. You can find meaning in anything, really. You just gotta look for it. I've done a lot of touring, and I've seen more passion and more just real music talent in the small artists more than I've ever seen anywhere else. So. Days that don't do well with change, especially 
today. Okay, so music streaming, I have like weird thoughts about it. At first I thought Spotify was silly, because when it first came out it was kind of silly, because every, like everybody who had Spotify was on Facebook, so like, like, oh, I'm playing this song, I'm playing this song, it was, it was just silly. But then I just stopped paying attention to it, and I understand as an independent artist, I'm not really getting paid that much for every, or really anything, for my streams. I'm a little conflicted about it, because I'd like to get paid, but I've played so many shows on a tour where I just didn't get paid, but new people heard my music, so I was okay with it. But honestly, I just, if my music is out there to new people who haven't heard it, that's a lot better to me. I have the Spotify artist thing. I clicked on it the other day, and I got like a couple new plays from like Belgium and Singapore and stuff like that. I was like, that's neat. It's cool that people that don't know you listen to your music. I like that aspect. I understand why people don't like it because they're like, oh, I don't get paid, blah, blah, blah. But for me, it's like, I would love to get paid. That'd be great. Most likely I'm not going to get paid because no one cares about musicians and they're not going to fucking pay you. Like, even if you play a show, you're probably not going to get paid a lot. It's never really been about the money. But money would be nice. Honestly, with this scene or any scene just in general, go to shows. If you like music and you want to see more music no one has ever seen or like see some small bands or just, you know, go to your local shows. And then if you like them, go talk to them, go buy a CD, go buy a t-shirt, like help local people out because your favorite band was a local band at one point. So go support your local music. You will be surprised that there's a lot of good music that you didn't even know was there. Like even if you just talk to them, just talk to them. It's like, yeah, I know everybody's broke, but like even moral support is just good enough. Financial support's cool, but moral support is great. It helps so much more than you would think it would. I haven't been quote-unquote inspired lately, but I've been writing a lot. Stephen King said this in one of his memoir on writing, and I feel like this definitely applies to anything creative. Waiting for inspiration is kind of bullshit. Inspiration is great, and I love inspiration, and that's when you just, you feel something and all of a sudden, boom, here we are. I'm making something that's cool. But you can be inspired and you can wait for inspiration, but you're not gonna get shit done, so just show up every day and work at it, and that's what I do. Like, even when I'm at work, and like I have like a half hour to myself, like something pops in my head or or I just start, you know, how I just write how I feel. And then sometimes it goes in song form, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I just, I have like three or four songs, it's just like, it's just lyrics. And I have three or four songs where it's like, it's just music. And I have just bits and pieces of other random stuff. I don't know, it's just, I'm not really in the mood for waiting anymore. I'm just kind of in the mood to get shit done. Like every creative artist that I've looked at, writer, musician, or painter, whatever, they're just like, just show up and do it, even if it's bad. You made a really shitty song, but you made a song that day. So I haven't really been inspired, but I've just been writing. Some of it's poop. And I know some of it's poop. But some of it's not bad. Just write all the time. Who knows? Get all the way. When life gets hard, you see